Well, welcome back. It's time that we get to continue with the segment, of course. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Karanja Alex. Well, we've got so much as we promised with Barry Moses all along when we began, lined up just for you. So, Sid Kumilmanze, let's get on board and do this. Well, the art industry has been, well, quite significant and it's really booming in the country and of course globally uh, contributing to a significant number of money to the GDP in the country but this morning I'm joined by quite a young lady let me call her little Miss Kenya that's what we call her she's none other than Samantha oh boy hi Samantha Bye. nice to have you on set thank you ever been here um no not really but <laughs> Hold on it's to your not mind. my first time to come in here. All <laughs> 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 right, all right. Right next to her is our uh, mother Patricia. Hi. Karibu sana. Asante. It's nice to have you also along. Uh, it's a privilege. Yes, yes, let's talk to Samantha. Samantha. Yeah? You do poetry. You do... Music. Music. Acting. Acting. And fashion shows. Good. And poem. Those are quite enough. That's all you do, yes? Yes. Good. That's really nice, Samantha. How, 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 how did you get to know that you can manage to do this? Me. Uh -huh. um, I just knew because, you know me, when I was three years, mm -hmm. I told myself that I can manage to do everything. And when I was three years, I liked talking by myself. Mm -hmm. So that's why... I, I was growing up so high. Mm -hmm. Then, when I, when I was four years, now that's when I was starting talking. Wow. That's nice, Samantha. Really applaud you for that, right? So now let's engage the mother because the mother had really knows you know, the history and all the way down to today. It's really nice to have you, Patricia, and of course, Mama Samantha. It's good to call you that. Well, how, how did you get to notice that Samantha has got all these talents, you know, being, you know, she can do poetry, she can do modeling, she can do all this fashion. How did you get to notice all these at a tender age? Uh, well, I think, I think uh, her story begins all the way back from the time she was born. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so phenomenal. You see, when she was born, the doctor just lifted her up and said, I've never seen such a beautiful baby. <laughs> And it's a public hospital. People don't mm, don't command. interact much with the doctors. They went, they dressed her up, they gave her even a special bed, and it was congested. They just put her aside. That's that was the first sign that she was a bit different, mm -hmm. if I may say, by God's grace. Mm -hmm. uh, so the more she grew, uh, at around nine months, nine months, uh, uh, a little be below one year. She could even interact with people. She didn't get. She didn't start with the blabbering of uh, like the way kids do. She just spoke her words the mm -hmm. way you tell her. So we could ride in a matatu, and she would pull pull the magazine from somebody and be like Ebonione, mm -hmm. and she could shock people. So that's how I knew she maybe her gift is in talking. So the more she grew, the more people loved her. Like we lived in the village. We have lived in the village until she was almost three. Uh, so everywhere, every where, where, where exactly the in, in Naivasha, mm -hmm. um, somewhere <laughs> called Nyondia. Where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lived in Nyondia. She has grown up there. And most kids used to speak Kikuyu, mm -hmm. but her she understood ki Kiswahili better. All right. Yeah, so she could speak stronger Swahili than someone who is 13 years old in that same village. Right. So I knew she was a bit special. Mm -hmm. So while we could maybe go to the shops or walk with her, all the, almost all kids would just go after her saying, Samantha, just chanting, wow. singing. Uh -huh. So I knew maybe she has some potential in leadership. Mm -hmm. So the more she grew, she would just wear something simple and they would call her Miss Kenya. So I saw that one also as a sign. So uh, when we were watching kids on TV, maybe those who have performed for the president, those mm -hmm. who have uh, excelled in maybe modeling, I never used to envy them. I used to say, it's only just a matter of time and my Samantha will be there. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know she would come this far, really. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when we came to Nairobi, I was a house girl. 
I came, I f I first I came to take my results mm -hmm. because I really felt I should now start following up on my university admission. So KCSE results? Yeah. Where did you use to school? I, I schooled at State House Girls. Right. I finished in 2011, but now we are talking about 2016. Mm -hmm. That is like five years later. It's when now I was coming for my results slip. I had tarmacked. I had done uh, weird jobs. There's a time I used to wash clothes for people in Nyandarwa with her on my back when she was one year old. I used to carry her on my back, wash clothes for people when it was raining and Nyandarwa is very cold. Yeah, we struggled a lot. So mm -hmm. when I came to Nairobi to take my results slip, I talked to the principal, I told her that story and, and she told me, ah, you can't go back to that same environment. So I stayed, I stuck around for a while. So uh, one of the teachers needed a house girl and I was willing. So, so you decided to now venture into something different other than what you were coming to do. You were coming to do, pick up your results, then you go back home. Yeah. But then you got an opportunity and grabbed it. Yes. For the sake of yourself and even your child. Yes. So uh, that now gave you an eye open and all that in the city? Uh, uh, kinda, mm -hmm. because uh, if I were to go back to Naivasha, I would go back to the very same environment I had left, mm -hmm. with, now with the results slip, so they wouldn't help much. So when I was in the city, at least I had an opportunity maybe to walk around. There's just something about being in the village, it's like it limits your mind mm -hmm. in a way. So when I was in the city, I didn't care whether I was a house girl or whatever, but we still we still managed. So while I was still a house girl, mm -hmm. uh, my first salary, I bought a phone. I never used to have a phone. So I bought the small mm -hmm. Neon <laughs> for 3,500 and my salary was over. So uh, with that- So about 500 was your salary? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, humble beginnings. Uh -huh. Yeah, so with that 3,500, I bought myself a Neon phone. I started following up on Facebook. Then I started thinking, uh, because my daughter is beautiful and she has a wonderful personality. Mm -hmm. Let me at least uh, talk to a few photographers. I see if they may be, they may want to work with her, maybe on their projects or something of the sort. I talked to so many photographers, but no, none of them were willing. So I had to like pay for them to to make a portfolio for her. Right. I went to the the casting agencies. Still with the same thirty five hundred. No, now I was thinking about now my salary for the next month. All right. Uh, so I talked to so many modeling agencies, they required registration money and so on, which I did not have at that time. Uh, so um, luckily I got another casual job still within the compound while the KCS is being marked. That one paid a little fare. So with that money, uh, I was paid on 24th December. Mm -hmm. So uh, I sat down and thought, that if I have to spend this money on modeling, then she won't go to school and she's wow. due to join school. So mm. I had to let it all go and just register, uh, register her in school first. So That's she's already in school? Uh, or she just finished her trainings? No, she, at that time she was, uh, she was joining baby class. Right. So I didn't register her oh, so for any the of school. the... Also, it's the formal school. That we're talking about the training for her modeling classes. Yeah, so I didn't register her for modeling. I didn't register her for anything because mm -hmm. my priority was for her to be in school first. Mm -hmm. So my entire salary, I put her in school because uniforms are so expensive. The school fees, everything. So I stayed without, without, like I was left with no money. Mm -hmm. And the teacher <coughs> I was working for, she had retired so mm -hmm. she had to move and where she was moving she was uh, she was not around right so uh when she moved we were left without shelter with nowhere to go with no fare with we were just left standing there so you still stay at state house girls yeah wow all right let's come to samantha samantha yeah so you went to egypt yes yes and tanzania and tanzania you've been to tanzania also um no but we landed over there we Kindly use your microphone, Samantha. Uh -huh. We just landed over there. We wait for the people of Tanzania to come. So when they came, we slide. And you know, one side was dark, one side was light. Okay. In the city. All right, Samantha, let's talk about Egypt. How was your stay in Egypt? And what Who? did you, did you recommend to in Egypt? West Coast. 
to escort who? Um, players. Oh, you had gone Afghan players, that is Harambe Stars? Yes. How was it? Oh, it was so funny. So funny? <laughs> eh, hey, yes. Uh -huh. Because, you know, the apples were like plastic. Mm -hmm. The apples were just like plastic. Mm -hmm. Even when you bite them, <laughs> they were just like plastic. Right, right. So you must have enjoyed your stay there. Oh, I just wanted to stay over there until, until just our baby is born. Until. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're still enjoying the show. Anyway, let me come back to you, Mama Samantha. Uh, well, let's talk about uh, now what she's doing. She's doing quite a number of things, and her talent is really exemplary. We can say that she has earned more than like more than eight certificates by now yeah. among th among them huh? um for music festivals last year mm -hmm. for drama festivals this year for escorting the players for participating in so many activities like the good deeds day she has like 14 certificates i think 14 yeah uh -huh. yeah for the little miss kenya mm -hmm. for participating in the little miss kenya and for being among the top three actually she was top two she was top two. Yeah, okay. and for the Little Miss World as well, for participating and also for being top three. Yeah, so she has over 14 certificates. So we can call you Little Miss Kenya, can we? Oh, you can call me even Little Miss World. <laughs> <laughs> Little Miss World? Yeah, uh -huh. um, every of them. Any of them can do for you? Yeah. All right, you want to sing for us? Um, okay. Please go ahead. It's okay if you want to stand. Just stand there, uh -huh, right there. If I... Look, look over to that camera. If mm -hmm. I could reach the sky, I would stretch up so high and touch my dreams. No matter their weight, the height, the size, I might move small to believe in these things that seem to come only to the rich and the strong and the smart. When will I ever be so bright like the stars when my skin is so dark? Like my nights without dreams, I don't sleep when I think that someday I might wake up and realize. That my dreams, that my dreams, that my dreams were just but a dream. Ooh. Thank you. Big up, big up, big up, big up, Samantha. That's really nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That's really nice. So that's just one of the many things that you do, yeah? Is yeah. That so? That's just one, a snippet of what you do, yeah? Yeah. Big up. We and I you. can model for you, yes? You can, you'll be doing that in just a few, right? But yeah. let, me, let me talk to you, Samantha, and how, how, how is that? Is it earning or what's, what's really happening for her? Uh, uh, there's, a time, there's a time I talked to a friend mm -hmm. and I told, uh, and um, we were having just a normal conversation. One of them said, uh, Samantha can be such a great artist. And the other person said, not in this country. Oh. Then, I, uh, then I, I had to follow up. But they said, uh, in this country, we art is not us. appreciated that much. Uh -huh. Yeah, so basically, yeah, she has just been doing things, attending shows, not being paid for it. So when maybe we say talent pays, mm -hmm. for her, she won't understand because for her it's like she has just been doing it for passion right so at at one point it's when she told me uh we were going to she was going to perform at a show mm -hmm. but it was raining we didn't even have fare we had to walk in the rain up to town we didn't even From have lunch girls. yeah uh -huh. we didn't even have lunch we had nothing we had to walk like for an hour up to town then board a matatu with the little 50 bob we had when we got to the venue she performed and after that, mm -hmm. she, we didn't even have that lunch. Mm -hmm. So somebody had to like give us fare to go back home. Whoa. So that's when she told me, eh, hey, mom, now I think I can have my own event. I'd be inviting people. Yes. 
Yeah, so that's when I thought she also, she has always had passion for kids, mm -hmm. just to ha see kids happy, kids doing what they love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I combined that passion with the idea that she needs to have her own event yeah. and with the things that she talks about most. Mm -hmm. And that's how we reached at FBI, the Fufua Beat Initiative. All right, and let, let's talk more about it because you have an event yes. for Samantha yes. this yes. coming weekend. Yes. Talk more about it. Well, uh, Samantha... Tell you want to say something, Samantha, FBI? about the FBI? FBI uh -huh. is for 